what is going on guys uh, welcome back this is gonna be my second tutorial or my second the second part of my Bluetooth communication tutorial in the last tutorial we started the Bluetooth connection service class um, and I managed to finish the accept thread in this one we're going to be creating the connect thread which initiates the Bluetooth connection with the accept thread so first thing we need to do is add a couple more variables up here so we create our connect thread object here, but I haven't created the class for it yet. And we will create our Bluetooth device object and our global UUID and a nice handy dandy progress dialog. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to go down here and create the connect thread class. So like I said, this thread uh, basically connects to another. Like if you have two devices, they're both going to be sitting in this state right here with their accept thread running until another device's connect thread starts and it's going to grab this socket and connect to it. So we're going to write write that piece now. So the first thing we need to do is create a Bluetooth socket and then we're going to create our uh, default constructor. I'll just write it myself. And so there's our connect thread default constructor with our Bluetooth device and UUID that we'll be passing. And we just need to throw a couple variables in here and a log to let us know that connect thread is started. So there we go, a log to show connect thread started, our uh, Bluetooth device, and our UUID. Now we're going to create our run method just like we did in the accept thread. And just in case I was unclear in the last tutorial, the run method is actually going to automatically execute inside of a thread. So you don't have to worry about calling this method, it will just automatically run when a connect thread object is created or an accept thread object is created. So we're going to dec declare our Bluetooth socket first of all. It's going to be temporary and we're going to log the beginning of our accept thread, of our connect thread, sorry. So it means like, actually I should say run. There we go. Then we're going to get the Bluetooth socket for connection with the given uh, Bluetooth device. So I'll put a comment there. We're going to take our temporary uh, Bluetooth socket here and create an RFCOM socket. It's, a, it's called an RFCOM socket to service record. So you create this record using the UUID and we have an unhandled exception here so we're going to surround with a try catch. Uh, I, I typed it all out in the last one. I don't know why I did that. And I'm just going to throw a log in here um, just to say that we're going to try and create the insecure RFCOM socket. So there we have our connect thread trying to create insecure RFCOM socket using this UUID. Cool. And what we, we want to log here if it failed. So we'll say uh, could not create insecure RFCOM socket. There we go. Next we want to uh, assign our socket here to the temporary variable that we put here. And uh, next thing we want to do is make sure we cancel discovery uh, if a connection is made because uh, in discovery mode it's very memory intensive. So we always want to cancel discovery after, basically whenever it's not necessary. So now we're going to try to make the Bluetooth, tr sorry, try to make a connection to the Bluetooth socket. And once, ag once again, just like up in the accept thread when we used, um, or is it here, server socket dot accept, we use uh, socket dot connect, which is also a blocking call. It will only return on a successful connection, connection or an exception. And let's try to try catch again. Let's throw this in here, and I just want to have an, a little, a little, a little log here that says that basically is going to tell me that the connection was successful. So that means, so uh, this is a blocking call. So if the, the code gets past that point, it means the connection was established successfully. If there is an exception, um, we basically want to close the socket. So we'll put a little message here that says the socket was closed and I'm going to need to surround that and try catch and we need a couple more logs here and that should be it for that try catch and if it does fail so basically if the connection fails and this exception is thrown I just want to put a little message right here a little message that says could not connect to the UUID that we're using so if the exception was not thrown we would advance to this point right here and we're going to call a method called connected and we're going to pass the socket and the device and I'm going to talk about this one talk about this in the third oops third video just like up here I'm going to talk about this one in the third video so last thing we're going to do is write a cancel method just like we used up here 
in case I want to cancel the connection. Our little cancel method. So we're going to write a couple more methods here. Um, try and keep this video as short as possible. But the first one we're going to write is a method to uh, start the connection service. I'll keep it simple. I'll call it start. And specifically, this method is going to start the accept thread. So it's going to initiate the accept thread to be sitting there and listening for a connection. And of course, we always got to start with our log. If the connect thread exists, we want to cancel it and create a new one. If an accept thread doesn't exist, we want to start one. So the first one is the connect thread. If the connect thread is null, we want to cancel it. We want to cancel it and we want to create a new one. The second one will be if the accept thread is null. If the accept thread is null, then we want to, that's fine, we want to start a new one. There's our new, so just don't get confused. This start isn't the same as this start. This start is what we're going to use to uh, initiate our accept thread. Um, this this method right here actually is a, a method that's native to the thread class. So you can use dot .start on any thread, on any thread object, because in this insecure accept thread is a thread object. We can use start on it, and it initiates it. So the last method we're going to make in this tutorial is our, I'm going to call it a start client method. And this, this is the method that's going to initiate the connect thread. This method was the one that initiates the accept thread. The next method will be the one that initiates the connect thread. So here we have our start client method. It's going to take uh, two parameters, the Bluetooth device and the UUID. Next, we're going to actually create our process dialog box. Like I said, this is going to be what we use to initiate the connection. So the process dialog box is going to pop up when the connection is trying to be made. So it lets the user know, hey, I'm trying to create a connection. Next, we declare our connect thread to create a new connect thread object. And then we start our connect thread. So there's the start method once again, just like we saw up here. So that's it for this one. In, um, in my next one, we're going to talk about the final thread, which is going to be the connected thread. And it's the one that manages the Bluetooth connection and manages the input and the output stream from the other device. If this tutorial was helpful, like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.